Here's from the last page of today's Catholic, September 2nd, 2016. Under the death column. John Igo leaves far-reaching legacy by Carol Boss Soa, today's Catholic. His master said to him, Well done, my good and faithful servant. Matthew 25, 21. San Antonio. John Igo, a man who loved words and people, passed away on August 9th at the age of 89, leaving behind an enduring legacy as an educator, writer, artist, theatrical producer, critic, civic leader, mentor, and friend. Born on May 29, 1927, to John N. Igo and Anna Stella Wooler, he grew up on ranch land owned by his family in the Helotus area of northwest Bear County. His Bavarian stonemason ancestors settled the land in the mid-19th century, and Igo continued to live in his family's Waller Road home until later years necessitated moving to a retirement facility. The John Igo branch of the San Antonio Public Library, named in his honor, is a short distance from where he once lived. In retirement, he volunteered there, doing whatever was needed and greeting visitors at the door. A lifelong Catholic, his mother's family helped build St. Joseph downtown and St. Henry churches in San Antonio and Our Lady of Guadalupe Church in Helotus. I go attended the old Lock Hill School and went on to graduate from Edison High School. He received his bachelor's and master's degrees from Trinity University, which he attended on scholarship and began his career there as a librarian and English instructor. In 1953, he commenced a 47-year career teaching English at San Antonio College and became sponsor of the Campus Newman Club, a post he held for 25 years. In 2005, interview with today's Catholic, Igo noted the importance of the Newman Club and Sachs Catholic Student Union, Catholic Student Center, to the young Catholics who found themselves adrift at a secular college. It's a very dangerous age, 18 through 22, for Catholics, he said. We Catholics lost a lot of people in those days. They would try other things or just give it all up and become agnostic or atheist or just nothing. As Newman Club sponsor, he spoke at a Sierra Club meeting, informing his audience that around 6,000 students, more than half the student body at SAC, were Catholic. This is more than the number of families at many parish churches, he said, yet they were served by only one chaplain for a few hours weekly. Igo did not mince words about the need for the church to provide spiritual support for these young men and women, telling the gathering that if action was not taken, you were going to be responsible for their spiritual condition. Within a year, there was a Catholic Student Center on campus. Igo was later awarded the Archbishop's Medal for Service to Young by Archbishop Francis J. Frury in San Fernando Cathedral, not only for dedication to the SAC Catholic Student Center and Newman Club, but for his 20 years as a CCD teacher at Our Lady of Guadalupe in Helotus and his 15 years as lector at the 9.30 a.m. Mass there. Other teaching awards included the Piper Professor of the Year Award, the SAC Teaching Excellence Award, and the National Institute for Staff and Organizational Development Teaching, teaching Excellence Award. He also taught at the University of the Incarnate Word, St. Mary's Hall, and was an instructor for a special class in poetry for deaf adults at SAC. In recent years, he vol volunteered his teaching skills to tutor children with learning disabilities. A producer and director of plays, as well as an award-winning playwright and sometimes actor, 
Igo was found founding producer director of Renegade Theater locally and volunteer manager of the San Antonio Public Library Theater Archives for 20 years. He served as a drama critic for several San Antonio publications and KLRM TV and was a well-known broadcast personality in the fields of poetry and grammar. A co-founder of the Extended Run Players at University of Incarnate Word, a reader's theater group for older actors whose performances raise funds for theater scholarships, he annually presented their endowment fund with a generous check on his birthday, calling it his birthday present to himself. It was he who came up with the group's name. He received the American Association of Community Theater Spotlight Award for his service to community theater and was honored by the San Antonio Theater Coalition as a living legend. He won numerous poetry awards and published 12 books of poetry, including The Third Temptation of St. John, National Society of Arts and Letters Literature Award, and God of Gardens, Southwest Writers Conference Publication Award, he authored books in other subjects as well, including local history, his most recent being Folk Tales from the Halotus Settlement and a Stone for Plot 4 or Mendes A Quest. He was working on four manuscripts at the time of his death. In 1985, he received an Emmy for his documentary script, Our Children, The Next Generation, which inspired the film Colors directed by Dennis Hopper. Among his many other awards were the Speech Arts Association First Distinguished Medal, Translated Awards German and Spanish from Poet Lore International and Grothes Medallion for Distinguished Service to Area Libraries, the only time it has been bestowed on a non-librarian. Today's Catholic was among the publications over which I go an inveterate Grammarian, Grammarian kept a watchful eye. While he eschewed the modern convenience of email, a website created by a friend writer, Gary Demers, renewed Igo's contact with many former students and colleagues in later years. At the public celebration of Igo's life, held the evening of August 17th at the gardens of Old Town, Halotus, Demers noted the dull deluge of emails and phone calls sent from around the world by persons whose lives had been touched by him. There was echoed in the testimonials that night which spoke of a gentle and generous man who encouraged people to succeed and delivered criticism when needed with wry humor. He survived. He is survived by his sister Mary Helen Clark Nieces Christine Keisel, Sammy Brown, and Jody Corey. Nephew Chip Clark, great niece Doreen Patrick, cousins Bill and Judy Waller, and many other relatives and friends. Special recognition was given Keisel for her devotion to and care of her uncle. Donations in Igo's name may be made to the San Antonio Public Library Foundation. A SAC scholarship. And God bless John Igo. That's all the time we have for today.